Crypto.com to delist Luna Classic? Turns out that's not the case. I've got all the latest for you in this video. Let's get it. So breaking news that is circular in X right now is a Crypto.com announcement about Luna Classic. Now, if you remember, and you've been watching this channel for a while, I talked about that initial email that came out saying they were delisting on Feb the 15th. Ultimately, turns out, well, that might not be the case. This has come out as a dear value customers following an email on Jan 18th. Please be informed that delisting of Luna Classic from the Crypto.com exchange will be delayed till further notice in April. As a result, trading and deposits of Luna Classic will not be suspended on Feb 15th, 2024. Very, very interesting. This is literally just brought. We're trying to confirm the source. It looks legitimate. It's there. A lot of people are retweeting this. A lot of people are talking about it. And I absolutely am in a world where I think this to be true. I can't, and for the life of me, understand why crypto.com were going to delist it. Even in my video, I talked about the fact that I didn't necessarily think or agree that it was true. Turns out, well, looks like we were right. Now, if you remember, going back to that initial tweet, the price of Luna Classic actually dropped over 10% as Crypto.com delisted it, particularly on Luna and Luna Classic. And then, obviously, it all started circulating. People started to jump on the bandwagon to say, well, that's it. It's going to be done. And I've always talked about the fact that Binance was still burning. We were still building. There was more coming to the Luna Classic ecosystem than I think people gave it credit for. And that's why I'm absolutely not surprised that Crypto.com is not going to delist Luna Classic. What's interesting is where it now leaves us. Does this mean that we're not going to delist in April? Who knows? But while you've got someone like Binance in your corner, it wouldn't make much sense for someone like Crypto.com to delist Luna Classic. Equally, when we start seeing some of the proposals that's coming down, it almost allows that this building, and don't forget, we're still getting a decent amount of volume. Yes, we may have dropped out of the top 100 cryptocurrencies, but there's still a good amount of volume running through. So it does kind of make no sense whatsoever. So ultimately, we will see how this plays out. We'll absolutely see if crypto.com truly stick to what they've said, which is ultimately it will not be suspended on the 15th. Ultimately, that now is only two weeks away. And depending on what happens with the market, we could even see a positive move to the upside. Now, don't forget, we are expecting the Binance burn to come in within the next 24 hours. Our volume hasn't quite been as much as we would have hoped, but you're still going to get that burn coming in. And again, my point here is that Binance still are supporting us. If Crypto.com truly want to battle it out for that top tier cryptocurrency status, well, it doesn't make any sense for them to kind of go against the grain. Equally, we also have some pretty interesting proposals coming down i'm not saying all of these are good by the way but we have some interesting proposals now if you remember genuine labs came out a while back and put a tweet out or put a commonwealth proposal in saying we're going to go and do this and do that and work on this and ultimately got a no with Vita. well guess what they're now here for payment that's right they're now proposing that we should pay them sixteen thousand dollars for some of the work that they have done on the chain on the development of it you can see there on behalf of genuine labs i'm submitting this proposal for the work we have undertaken over the past four weeks our focus has been on implementing end-to-end -end tests interchain tests and addressing issues related to the packet forward middleware and ibc hooks we've maintained transparency throughout the works by providing bi-weekly reports on our progress you can find detailed updates on the following link cost of this is sixteen thousand dollars not sure how I feel about that, if I'm honest. And equally, I'm not sure I feel you've done enough. It very much sounds like Six Samurai, and ultimately, I'm not sure this is going to pass. What's interesting, though, is currently it is passing. So a lot of people believe that they've done a good job. I don't know. I'm absolutely not in the world of being a developer. But it's a lot of money to spend on something that apparently has already happened, and, well, not a lot of people understand it. So at the same time as well, we've got all this Crypto.com drama going on. You've got to keep your wits about you because people are still trying to take that Luna Classic of us. Very, very important, especially when you look at the community pool. The community pool is still pretty strong. We have a number of Lunk and USTC in there that I think we should be using. Now, I don't agree that we should use everything, but it's absolutely a good thing to start to push development and equally push that marketing strategy on it we already know that terraform labs are going head to head with the sec even that chapter 11 bankruptcy they filed is a deliberate move to absolutely protect the entire cosmos and 
Luna, Luna Classic ecosystem. We even know to the point where there is an injection of a million dollars going into that osmosis pairing with Luna. So Chris Armani, the head of TFL, battling it out in court. And I think it's very interesting. So we're in a very, very good place, in my opinion. And it is only my opinion right now. In terms of statistics, people feel the same way. We continue to see Luna Classic staked. And equally, we continue to see validators starting to build out. So for me, a lot of positive things coming down the line and like we said, if this crypto.com listing does seem to be true and ultimately the therefore do not delist on that February 15th, well, it's got to be good news. Now, what's going on with the price? The price down a little bit on the day, down, sorry, up about half a percent, but down underneath that 200 exponential moving average. But we are seeing some slight green shoots of recovery. Now, given the news that's coming in about crypto.com, could we see a potential move on the day? Quite possibly. We've just ticked into a new day. Bitcoin obviously having that big rally down after the FOMC. We'll see how this plays out. But Luna Classic consolidating to the sideways now. Again, this news coming out could be a catalyst to start to see us move to the upside. Time will tell. But in my view, well, there seems to be this kind of movement. We get not a lot for a lot of time and ultimately, either no proposals and all of a sudden loads of news comes in loads of debate comes in the community seems to be divided on a number of things and ultimately if we want this to succeed we have to have the same shared goals and ultimately the narrative aligned to pushing this forward that's not giving money or wasting money to anyone but it is about spending it sensibly the great thing with decentralization and governments is everyone has a vote crypto.com obviously deciding that that is where they want to sit and there you now some loyalties still sit with luna classic particularly if we continue to see some volume and more importantly we continue to see binance supporting us every month let me know in the comments down below what do you think do you think the crypto.com is true do you think they are finally revoking it and answer me this will they delist it in april i don't think so let me know in the comments as ever thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more content around luna classic i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye